Hey everyone, welcome back to Try This. This isn't going to be a very fancy episode, but I did want to show you guys my amazing uh, box set record collection called The Swing Era. And I may also include this set as well. And then I'm going to do a separate video on some of the other box sets. But um, we're going to start off with this and we'll see how long the video um, takes and if I can fit this into this video, I will. Otherwise, I'll make a separate video. But this is the swing era. And from the information I've acquired, these were from my great aunt. And I, she bought them like in the 70s. And these are absolutely amazing. You may not care for swing music. However, um, these are still amazing just even to look at even if you don't listen to the records themselves, which I highly recommend that you do. But I think I'm missing, like, one or two of these because for some reason one of them got damaged, water damaged somehow, and I don't understand because these are all in really great condition. Um, you know, I've got this one, and then let's take a look. What's really cool about these, these are the Time Life, and Time Life did a series of records they did all these record sets and things like this, special edition stuff. But let's take a look at what's inside because it's pretty amazing. So you get – let's move that out of the way. You get this, which holds all of your records, which we will take a look at that in a moment. But I wanted to highlight it comes with these books. Now, these are really cool because what record set comes with a book and – you can see right there, there's, it's got all of these amazing photos inside and it just talks about all the songs and the influence they had and, you know, what it was like during the time period and it goes into some of the artists and the production of the songs. And if you'd like to see um, these more in detail, let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like me to somehow figure out how to post um, one or two of these books in its entirety so you can read it. And I'll try and see if I can scan them in or whatever and post them somewhere. These are just absolutely incredible books. And if you ever get a chance to own one of these record sets, I highly recommend it. What I think this has, it does. This particular book has a fold-out in it. Not all the books do, but this one does. Oh, wow. See, I haven't even looked at all of these books either myself. Sorry, my legs are kind of in there. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. I just wanted to film this real quick, so I'm not even using a tripod. So that's why it's like, ah, one hand on the camera and the other hand is trying to flip this book. But that is amazing. You know, and, you know, there's got to be... Well, this book has 71 pages. So there's the book, and there's what the back looks like. And, of course, here's the back of the record album. So you can see what's all in it. And these are the records themselves. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, obviously, because that would be a little obnoxious, but I will pick you know, maybe two or three out of the bunch. So let's take a look at one of these records. I'm going to try and do this one-handed and not screw it up. Trying to be careful with these. Look at even the, the, the jacket says Time Life Records on both sides. And it does have a plastic insert, which is nice because I've heard the paper is not good for the records. I'm not quite sure why. I guess maybe little paper particles might get off in the record. I don't know, but here is the record itself. 
and you can see these are in really great condition, actually. They are, like, brand new. You'd never know they were even played, but that's what one of the records looks like. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite-looking ones because this one says post-war years. It's not got dates on it. It just says the post-war years. So this one's pretty cool. Um, this is the, I believe this is the last in the series, actually. Let's see if we can slide it out. Of course, you've got the records in the same kind of uh, thing. You know, I wish I could play you a little bit of each of these, and I would totally do that if it wasn't for YouTube's insanely stupid copyright rules. Um, so for now, you're just going to have to imagine what these amazing records would sound like or get some for yourself. Search eBay, thrift stores, wherever, and try and find some of these. They're definitely worth having, even if you uh, don't like swing music. They're still great because you can still have the books and all of that. I don't believe any of these books were ever in color. No, they weren't because this is the latest one, and it's not in color either, but... Still incredible to see. And I would assume they're not in color because, you know, back when these photographs were shot, color was not a popular thing. So let me know if you have any of the Swing Era box set and what you think of it. Do you like it? How do you think the, uh, the sound quality is on the records? And what do you think of these really cool books? These will be fascinating to read, and there's a, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, here's another look at one of the records out of the box sets. I just love how everything is color-coded. You know, it all matches itself. The record label's got brown on it. The box has brown on it. Really nice. I was trying to figure out... These don't say when they were made. At least I can't find where it says where they were made, like a date. Because I was trying to figure out what year these came out. All I recall is my aunt bought them sometime in the 70s. 60s or 70s. Okay, let's take a look at the As You Remember Them box set. And I know some of you, and you know who you are, is going to be drooling and looking at this, the unforgettable Glenn Miller going, Why doesn't he go over that? And I will. I'm going to make a video completely about the Glenn Miller stuff that I have got, you know, collected so far. And I'm mainly collecting Glenn Miller because I love all things World War II and just that kind of era and vibe. Not so much the music is, is why I enjoy I mostly enjoy it just because that time period is kind of fascinating. All the events in history and whatnot. Music isn't too bad, though. So this is the As You Remember Them, great instrumentals, and this is also a time life, and I have all the way till um, volume eight, and leave a comment down below if you uh, know how many volumes this has. I only have up to volume eight. I don't know if it goes any higher. If you have one higher than volume eight, let me know. Um, this is the front of it. Here's the back. Let's see if I can scoot back a little bit so we have more room. There's the back of it. Come on. It's stuck. <laughs> Okay, I got it. So again, this is color coded too because this matches the green color of the box lid. Very similar to the Swing Era box set. And this also comes with a book. I think all of these have a book in them as well. Not as fancy because this one is soft cover. It's not a hard cover book. But still, this goes over, you know, a lot of the 
artists and the music and the time period events and different things. Again, if you really want to see these books in full, you know, leave a comment down below. And if I get enough people wanting to see them, I'll figure out a way to digitalize them so I can post them online. Hopefully not get in trouble for copyright law for sharing something with you guys. But yeah, this even goes into, you know, reproducing the records and, you know, high, some hi-fi stuff, recording them. There's a recording studio. Just really, really great books. And these are quite, this one's quite large. There's my hand. So it's not small. It's at least as big as, you know, a record. But let's take a look at one of the records themselves. Okay, here's the record jacket, and you can see Time Life on both sides. See if I can pull it out carefully. There you have the record. I'm going to set it down there very carefully. So there's the box set with the record, and it also has a green label to match. I don't think any of these say... They don't say when the records were produced. That is really annoying. Oh, no, wait. This one says 1972. Hang on. Let me get a close-up. Okay, so at least on this one I found where it says... I don't know if you can read that. Uh, where did I see it? Right there. 1972, right above the Capitol Records. Here we have Volume 2, and this is the last one we're going to take a look at. Because they're really all the same, just with different music from different um, time periods. But they're all really very similar. I think this one is stuck in here too much. Hang on, let me pull this one out. Okay, so here's what it looks like out of its box. And there's the back of the box, so you can see what's in it. And these are the records themselves. This one does come with a book as well. Although, I think it's smaller in size. Yeah, this is more the size of the hardback books we were looking at from the swing era. But what's nice about these, they are in color. So, yes, it's not a hardback, but you trade the hardback in for full color images. Wow. Credits. Then there's the back of the book. Let's take a look at one of these records now. Here's a look at one of the records, also orange to uh, match the jacket, the record uh, box. Let's see. This one also says 1972 on it. Still in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of dust and stuff on it, but... No scratches or anything. That's actually dust up there. Well, guys, thanks for taking a look at these box sets with me. If you'd like to see more on these, like, you know, some of the other volumes, or you'd like me to do uh, more videos like this one, then leave a comment down below. And I'll definitely do some more content like this as I collect, you know, odd or unusual or just really cool records, box sets, cassette tapes, CDs, whatever media format I happen to come across that looks really cool and interesting. But for now, that's going to do it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on another episode of Try This.